is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here i'm talking about scream 6 in this video here again today scream 6 just dropped a bombshell on us today so we got uh, some official new steals from the movie paramount this official scream account has re not reconfirmed but they flat out confirmed what their subliminal message last week was related to the official trailer for scream 6 like i tweeted out uh is going to be dropping tomorrow on thursday they did not release a time but we did get a small snippet of what we can expect from the trailer now we got some official steals this morning from entertainment weekly that i want to talk about also talk about some of the comments that the cast has made about the upcoming installment so let's jump on right into it so melissa barrera during this uh interview it looks like with entertainment weekly said these kids referring to referring to chad mindy tara and i guess herself even she said these kids are running away and ghostface is still finding them in the most beautiful city but also the most terrifying because it's so crowded and it can be aggressive now courtney cox had something to say about ghostface being in new york as well Go courtney cox said this bringing ghostface to new york adds an entirely new element to the story taking the character out of a small town and putting them in the heart of the city that never sleeps is more terrifying than ever also it looks like jen ortega said something about about the upcoming movie she said that there's a lot of tension between sam and tara sam feels as though she's too protective and unwilling to allow them both to move on so tara feels suffocated i, I guess is who she's referring to she says not a lot of or melissa barrera went on to say not a lot of time has passed since the last movie she's said this in the past i believe pretty much the amount of time that we've had between one movie and the other is the amount of time that has passed in their world so the trauma is still very fresh one of my favorite parts about this movie is that we really get to see how the happenings of the last movie affected them we really or we get to really see the baggage that they're carrying now and how each of them is dealing with it differently so i can't wait to see that and how that shapes who they are how that development of the characters impact how impact what type of um feelings we have towards the character because i'm really just hoping that this core group of characters specifically the three that are with sam chad tara and mindy they get a lot more development than they had in five so we also heard from some of our newcomers dermot moroni uh, well, not DeMar Maroney, but Melissa Barrera made comments on DeMar Maroney. We just got new images that had DeMar Maroney's character present. Uh, she said, I have loved DeMar Maroney forever. Such a huge fan. He always had the best energy on set and had everyone laughing. It was just a beautiful thing to have him come in. They also went on talking about Samara Weaving. Uh, Hayden Pantier actually made a comment because we got our first look at and the first official look at Kirby. She had something to say about Kirby. She said that Kirby's come a long way. Uh, what happened to her has obviously impacted her life and it sends her in a sends her in a certain direction but she's still the same old kirby at the heart of it she's just a little older a little wiser but just as spit fiery and snarky and all that good stuff so she went on to talk about how how it was difficult to kind of come in as a veteran kind of how nev came into the last one as a veteran kind of joining up with this new crew after they had already done the previous movie so that was all nice to hear but these images that we got these images are 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 very cool i i have to say that the, the way it's looking and the aesthetic overall now of course these are just official steals i i, I want to see if the trailer translates into what i'm seeing from these images because a lot of people who are concerned about that wig i'm not concerned about this wig at all whatsoever i can t i can tell it's a wig but it, it does not look as horrendous as many people thought it's po also possible that it's going to look better from certain angles that shot of hayden that was released today she looks great I, I think she looks amazing uh all the other shots look amazing as well the shot of jamont maroney sitting in his office i would assume he is going to be the one on the case so we'll see what that how that plays up into the story how he gets involved we know that this probably is triggered by some of his recent comments he's made in the past which he probably shouldn't have tied to the fact that his daughter is going to end up being a victim so he probably shouldn't have said that that's probably why he is more so dedicated to the case uh i will say this hopefully his daughter does not die before he gets assigned the case because if he gets assigned the case for all of my people who might be in law enforcement or people who just know of conflict of interest wouldn't it be problematic if his daughter died first and then he got assigned the case i i hope it's the other way around that he just got assigned the case after the opening kill and his daughter unfortunately maybe becomes the second third or fourth victim and that just makes him even more committed to solving the case to find his daughter's killer so we got that shot we got a shot of ghostface swinging their knife i don't know who they're swinging at but i'm going to 
theorize that that's Gale. I'm going to theorize that that is Gale that Ghostface is swinging their knife at. And that is her chase sequence in the movie. We got a shot of Melissa Barrera and Jenna Ortega as Sam and Tara standing out in New, in New York City with it looks like a bunch of police cars around them. And I'm just loving how it looks. Everything comes off more authentic this time is in terms of just the overall sets, not having everything on sound stages or just have having everything in these uh, just built locations versus actually being on on street locations like we're going to get in Scream 6. I'm just loving how a lot of the COVID protocols that were holding back the fifth movie are not going to hold back this one. The shot of Gale that was released also looks great. I'm assuming this might lead up to her eventual chase scene that is coming in the movie. I really hope they include something about her chase in the actual trailer just to get fans hyped and something related to her phone call with Ghostface that she has in the movie in the trailer also something again just to get fans hyped we got a shot of the core four that's what i'm going to call them uh everything just looks great all these images look great the comments from the cast have me more than excited i cannot wait to see how kirby reed is factoring into the story we know that she is going to be an fbi agent definitely going to be helping solve the case just as how much demont maroney is going to be solving the case i have to say this given the context of us knowing that an aged mask is being used and i will say this given that viewer anon has chimed in and if you don't want any minor spoilers or anything comparable to knowing that grass is green then click away now viewer anon chimed in over on twitter a, a few weeks back saying that these masks and that aged mask you're seeing that's it's not a replica or anything like that it's it's an old mask that's been used before so knowing that evidence is potentially being stolen the FBI being involved makes sense. And it also would make, I would say to me, Kirby a prime suspect. It also makes to a lot of other people, Jamar Maroney a prime suspect. Because again, how are these people gaining access to these things and they're not having help from either Kirby or Jamar Maroney? Maybe they're not the primary killer, but logistically, if you're someone who's familiar with just law enforcement or just having access to certain things that only a certain career field could have access to those two characters might be your prime suspects going into scream six and i can't say i blame you uh they might actually be red herrings but we'll see let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification members of video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video